Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's girl Michelle, also known as Miss Minx. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three reasons why what you want has not manifested yet. So, yeah. If it's your first time here, hello and welcome. Top two when I'm not two when it comes to these type of manifestation videos. So, go ahead and subscribe because you're going to love it here. Give this video a thumbs up. And, yeah, let's get into it. Before we get too deep into it, I really need as many of y'all as possible to subscribe to my Patreon. I need y'all to become patrons because I have so many video topics. I need y'all help vote voting on like what y'all want to see next. Um, we're also going to have a patron of the month who we treat to lunch. It's just going to be a beautiful community full of supportive souls. You can log in if you're having a rough day and get some love put on you. Um, and we're also going to be doing like morning motivational messages throughout the week. It's just going to be a really beautiful community that you can come and just feel good in. So go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon. I really need as many of y'all as possible to subscribe because y'all, I'll be having so many video topics. I don't even know where to start. So please subscribe. Okay. So the first reason why what you want may not be manifesting is because you're holding on to it too tightly. Um, the thing that I really wish more YouTubers would talk about is the fact that manifestation is not one size fit all. Um, and I feel like it's really important that we learn that you know not all of us really do well when we're holding on to these rigid routines like scripting and affirmations and all of that and i know this for me i manifest so easily when i just say i want something and i never think about it again it's crazy right and a lot of times that's why the things we really really want don't manifest because we care about them so much and we hold on to them so tightly like i found that i'm not the type of manifester where I do well writing affirmations all the time. I don't do well with scripting all the time, you know? I'm the type of person I just, all I need to do it is just one time and put it out there and then it just manifests for me effortlessly. And it's like the more you care, the more you hold on to it, it's like you almost suffocate it and you make it harder for the universe to do its thing and bring it to you, you know, because you're so on it and like, <sighs> And it's just like a lot, you know? So you may just be holding on too tightly to it. I feel like the easiest way to manifest anything you want is to just say what you want, set it and forget it. Just say you want it and know that it's yours and just move accordingly, but stop thinking about it. You may not need to do so many affirmations. You may not need to do so many scripting exercises. You know, you may just be suffocating it a little bit too much. So um, sometimes just take a step back. And I noticed this happens for me. I'll be like, I want to see my cousin. Like I'll have a thought in my head about seeing my cousin and then I'll run into him at the store. I'll have a song. I'll be like, I want to hear this song. And then I'll go on social media and I see like a TikTok or something with the song. Mind you, the song, and this just happened the other day, the song isn't even a popular song. So for me to see it was like, So that's what I'm saying. Set it and forget it. Just put it out there and just chill. And I know that can be really hard, but <laughs> that's probably why it hasn't manifested yet. Is you're holding on to it too much. You're suffocating it with affirmations and scripting. And you gotta just be like, look, I'm gonna let that thing be what it is. And you almost gotta not care about it. It's really like, just be like, you know what, whatever. But you know you care and the universe knows you care, but you can't just be so hyper focused on it. like. I want it, I want it, I want it. It's like, you know what, I want this, I have it, it is what it is. I want it, I got it, mentality. So yeah, that's the first reason, probably why what you want has not manifested yet. So the second reason why what you want has not manifested yet is probably because of what you're liking on social media. A lot of us, like I know for me at least, like you can see a meme and you may just like it and be like, yeah. And you may just be agreeing with it, but whole time it may be contradicting the things that you wanna call into your life. And let me give you an example of this. So let's say you're working to um, heal yourself or something like that. And you keep liking things that are like, it's so hard and da 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 da, da and it's such a strenuous thing. You're affirming those things, okay? So be mindful of what you're liking on social media. Even the type of posts that are like, one day it'll all be better. Like, yeah, one day. No, stop liking those type of stuff. Like, I'm serious, y'all. Really start to pay attention to what you're liking because when you like things on social media, you're affirming those things as truth in your life. So start to pay attention to what you're liking. Like only like things that affirm the things that you wanna see in your reality. 
start to disconnect yourself from things that just affirm the opposite, like struggle and heartbreak and all that foolishness that we know we're like over. Stop affirming stuff like that. If you're feeling like that in the moment, cool, yeah. But just be mindful that whenever you're liking things on social media, you're affirming those things in your world. So be very mindful and make sure you're liking things that support whatever it is you're wanting to manifest in your life. So yeah. Now the last reason why what you want probably hasn't manifested yet is because it just may not be for you. It just, it may not be for you. You know, we talk about soul contracts on this channel because like it or not, before you come into this world, your, your delicious, spectacular life is preordained. So that's the great news, is that the abundance is preordained. The success is preordained. It's already been written, right? But a lot of times we're forcing our way through life. We're, we're trying, we want things from ego. And I'm gonna make a video on ego versus higher self manifestation because ego wants to do a, oh, I wanna stunt. Oh, I wanna da 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 da. Oh, I'm trying to shit on people. You know, so you may be wanting something from a place of ego. And when we want things from a place of ego, sometimes we get them to see that this isn't really, this ain't what you want. <laughs> like, sometimes we do get them just to see that that's actually not what I wanted. Um, but a lot of times what you want is that manifesting because it just simply might not be for you. And you have to be okay with that and ask yourself, do I really want this for the right reasons? Do I want this because it sets my heart on fire? Or do I want this because I'm frustrated in one area of my life? You know, you can't manifest from frustration. Um, it's, there's a gnosis. It's called gnosis. Like, you have to actually care. You actually have to want this thing. You know, you can't just be like, oh, I just want this just because I'm frustrated and I'm pissed off with my life. That's, that's not going to give you what it is that you want. And you're going to continue to be frustrated and you're going to continue to go in circles if you manifest from that place. So it's like really learning yourself. That's why manifestation is a process. And I try not to really make videos on manifesting fast or, or like um, instant manifestation because I feel like a big part of manifestation is first um, unlearning the things that aren't serving you and becoming your ideal self because when you're authentic, and we talked about this, when you're authentically creating yourself, then you can figure out what you genuinely, truly do want. And you're not trying to manifest things based on frustration and this satisfaction with your life. So that is like a huge reason maybe why what you want hasn't manifested is because you're manifesting from ego and you don't actually really want it deep down. <laughs> and it's, it just may not be part of your soul contract. It just may not be for you. Get to know yourself, recreate yourself into your ideal self, unlearn all the foolishness that you've learned from the undesirable experiences that you've had, and just really become who you want to be. Because once you become who you want to be, once you're wearing the clothes you want to wear, once you're being yourself and really like being your true authentic self, that's when the things that are really meant for you find you. And I find that manifestation gets much easier when I want the things that want me. And the things that want me are like the pre-negotiated things that I came here to accomplish in my life. And I've noticed that um, it's just getting, it's, it's way easier when I decide to pursue those things as opposed to other things based on ego and like vanity and stuff like that. So yeah, those are three reasons why maybe what you want hasn't manifested yet. Go ahead and become a patron with me. Help your girl out, y'all. I have so much information and I just don't even need to be knowing where to start. So help your girl out, become a patron. Link is down there in the description box. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. Please let me know how I can support you. I love y'all so, so much. Like this video, comment, give it a big thumbs up. And remember, you are infinite, powerful, wonderful, and one of the almighty creator's greatest creations. And you better remember it, okay? I love y'all so much. Take care. Happy manifesting. And I'll see y'all on Patreon. Peace. <laughs>